This summer, Chloe Cole spoke out against California's passing of SB 107, testifying that both her and her parents were manipulated and bullied by the state to undergo destructive, life-changing surgeries. And while Florida bans puberty blockers and so-called sexual reassignment surgeries for minors, California Governor Gavin Newsom signs a bill allowing children from any state in the country to go to California for transgender medical procedures without parental consent. California is being hailed by the death cult as a transgender surgery sanctuary state, now providing chemical and surgical castrations for all of America's children. According to this new law, California can take emergency jurisdiction over any child from anywhere if there's a disagreement between the parent and the state of California over how to treat a child's gender distress. SB 107 states that taking a child away from the child's parents is justifiable if it is done to pursue gender transition procedures in California and allows for the state to wage child custody claims against out-of-state parents. SB 107 forbids healthcare providers from providing medical information related to gender identity procedures to a child's parent, even if sought under a subpoena. After permanently mutilating her own adopted child, Kathy Molig has been working full-time for California nonprofit Trans Family Support Services, where she reaches out to hundreds of children all across the country, luring them to California to castrate themselves. She often does so without the parents' knowledge. I work with a lot of youth um, before they tell their families and, and helping them in shaping what that looks like. Her work focuses on conservative communities where parents may not approve of having their children castrated. We have kids coming from all over the country for our virtual groups. We also opened a chapter in Huntsville, Alabama, because the people in red states really need as much support as they can get from us allies, in particular in states like California and Oregon and Washington. For whatever reason, people are allowing this incredibly evil attack against their own children. And recently, Lara Logan interviewed a UN insider who explained to her why children are the biggest target. I get it, but I don't get it. The children. You just, you got to, I still have, I have such a problem with this. You got to explain this one to me. And he said, um, well, first of all, you're looking at it the wrong way. I said, what do you mean? And he said, well, they don't define children the way you do. They don't define the world the way you do. The choices that you face are not their choices, right? They have a, they look at it completely differently. And, uh, and I said, well, okay, so how do they look at it? And he said, for them, everything is defined by their one fundamental all-consuming purpose. I said, which is what? He said, to defeat God. For them, the younger you are, the closer you are to God, the more pain they can inflict on God. So the more you can make a baby or a small child suffer, the greater your victory over God. And that is the only consideration for them. 